So let's say that the writer and the designer are working from two different physical locations. In that case, what the designers can do is uh, package the assignment as an in copy file, send it to the writer so that the writers can edit and send it back on to the InDesign user. So to do that, I'm already here on my assignments panel from the last lesson. So I'm just going to go around and package the writer to section. I'm going to right click and over here, there are two options, package for in copy, which will generate a file and package for in copy and email, which will allow uh, me to open up the default mail application and in copy file is already attached there. So I'm just going to use package for in copy and then save it out somewhere like in desktop in my case, but usually you can keep it in Google Drive or anything else as well. So I'm just going to go around over here and say, uh, and rename this, uh, file as packers and then save this up. So now what you can do is you can upload this onto a cloud drive like OneDrive or Google Drive so that it syncs up to the writer or you can email out the file as well. So now let's see what the writers do. So now on the writers end, they'll be opening up the in copy as you can see right here. So they go to file and open this out. And then what the writer have to do is they'll have to access that out and that file out. So I'm just going to go around onto my desktop where I save my file. So package is there. So they'll be opening, opening this out. The writer will have to open. So they'll be able to edit this text or go onto the layout and work around with it. So I'm just going to go around and say edited from remote. So I'm just going to go around and say edited from remote. And I'm going to go around this not report, but remote. And I'm going to go around here and say the same thing. Type in, check out, edited from remote right over here. So let's say they made the changes just like this. So now what happens is that they'll be able to check this in again. So they'll, uh, they'll do this normally, like check this in and then send it for the designer now as the editing is complete. So they go to file and again, go to packers. And here you can see forward for in copy if uh, you want to forward it to some other in copy user or return for in design. This is what we want to go for return for in design. And then this is an IDAP file. So I'm just going to go around into uh, desktop and then work around with it. So, so I'm just going to save it in desktop itself and save it. And what happens is that this is sent uh, as a file. So you can email that out to the other user that is the InDesigner user, or you can um, just um, um, attach it as an email uh, or just uh, upload it in a cloud drive. So now let's see what the designer does. So on the designer side, you can see that this has been marked out as um, being edited by remote users. So if I were to hover over, you can see that it says in use by remote user. So what they will have to do now as they receive the file is right click and click on open packets. So you have to go to desktop and here is the package that is sent by the writer by right to. So if I were to open this out here, it says you cannot reverse any change with the edit. So I'm just going to press OK. So what happens is that here the update is here. So I'm just going to go around and update this out. So update this and edit it is there. Go around, update it. And now you can see that the content is updated. And that is how writers and uh, designers can coordinate on the same file from different locations by using InDesign and InCopy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.